Hey guys, it's your girl Divasar213 and I'm back again with another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. My name is Jennifer. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that post bell notification so you're always updated every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get straight into business. Let's talk about some feminine hygiene. It is so very important that we as women take care of our bodies, especially that feminine hygiene, because, you know, that's... I can put some names out there for you if that's not... If that's not together so we don't want that so I'm gonna share some of the products that I use in my routine and hopefully maybe you ladies can incorporate some things or you think that you know a product that I could certainly benefit from leave that down in the comments below so first thing I want to talk about is shower gels I am a basic chick like I do not like putting a whole bunch of different fragrances down there in the vagina. I just don't. It's just not a good look for me. I am allergic to anything that has fragrances. I mean, I will get a UTI. I mean, we're all family here, so I'll share this, but I will get a UTI. Not really yeast infection or BB, but I will definitely get a UTI. So I try to stick to the basics. So everybody has heard of this, this shower gel, so I'm just gonna share the one that I use, and it's by Dove. Dove is perfect. I've been using this for years and years and years, and I will never stop using it because it's holy grail. It keeps the hoo-ha nice and clean, smelling good, smelling fresh, and I usually go between three of the fragrances, the original one, the, um, since the one for sensitive skin, and then I started using this cucumber one, and I love this. It's um, the refreshing cucumber and green tea scent. It smells really good. I love it. It's like very clean and soft smelling. Um, yeah, I use this to clean her down there. Um, Dove is a go-to. I freaking love everything about Dove. It's soft. I mean, I feel clean afterwards and I love the way my body smells. And, you know, I'm also a girl that loves shower gel that just, you know, the smell uh, fills the room and this body soap definitely does that. So get you some Dove. Um, also, while I'm in the shower, I have gotten really big into body scrubs. Like, I body scrub at least twice in my shower routine. So, the first one I'm going to show is, you've probably seen this brand in another one of my favorites, but it is a sugar scrub by um, Tree Hut. This is the coconut lime um, fragrance, and I love it. It's almost gone, as you can see. Um, it smells really good. Definitely smells like lime and coconut. Like the smell is on point. Um, the scrub, the sugar scrub is really nice. It easily melts on your skin in the shower. It's just, it gets all the dead skin off. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I use it every single day. When I run out, I always go and try to find another fragrance. I haven't found a fragrance I don't like. So um, definitely check this out. You can find this at Target as well very affordable probably six or seven dollars don't quote me these are just estimates so yeah I love this product too another body scrub that I use is from uh, Bath and Body Works now Bath and Body Works you know not a lot of people talk about Bath and Body Works this, this fragrance or sugar scrubs in general but I'm gonna talk about it because it's so freaking sexy smelling now, I love this fragrance this is the um, in the stars collection by Bath and Body Works. It smells so good. If you like anything that smells kind of like musky, like a man cologne, but feminine, this is it. It smells so freaking good. I use this on date night. I use this when I'm going out for brunch. Whenever I want to go and be around a big crowd of people and smell good, I will do my other coconut and lime um, sugar scrub by Tree Hut and then I will follow up with this exfoliating glow body scrub as well. Um, the notes in this are starflower, sandalwood nut musk, sugared tangelo, uh, white argar argarwood, and radiant amber. Those fragrances together smell so freaking good. This also has shea butter and vitamin E. So this is gonna be great for your skin. It's just not it's just not fragrance. It is actually really healthy for your skin. And I freaking love this. It's almost gone. Like, the smell is just, ugh, it is so freak, it just smells so sexy. It's like a sweet, but also masculine kind of like musk smell. That's the musk in it. It smells so freaking good. Every time I wear it and somebody hugs me, they're always like, what are you wearing? It smells so good. 
it's this, and I won't ever tell them in person, but I'm telling you on here. So baby girl, if you want to smell good on date night, also feel good with the skin being soft, get you some Bath and Body Works body scrub, okay? This is my favorite one at the moment. And I also bought the In The Stars um, body mist. Now, I use a lot of body mist after I get out of the shower. I am a girl that puts body mist on right out of the shower if I'm going to bed or wherever I'm going. I put this on. This fragrance, again, smells just like the body scrub, just super sexy, super clean smelling. Every time I wear it, I'm always getting questions about what are you wearing that smells so good, you smell so good. It is this, y'all. It's a body splash, and they think I, it's perfume, but it's not. It's a body mist. And don't let anybody downplay you and say, girl, body mist don't last that long, and da 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 so what? I smell good, okay? And I can reapply this all day long if I want to. Why? Because they have travel sizes. So, whatever. Like, I don't wear my beautiful smelling perfumes every single day because why? I, I spend that good money for a good, good occasion, special occasion. This is every day. So, I love this fragrance. Get you a couple of body mist fragrances for when you get out the shower. Yes, I spray it right on the skin and go right to bed or wherever else I'm going. This smells good. Get you some. Also, right out of the shower, I like to lotion down. I am a lotion queen. Not lotion queen, but I love lotions and oils. So, right now, I am uh, mixing an oil and um, a lotion together. So, the oil that I am using is by Neutrogena. It's a body oil. It is the Light Sesame Oil Formula. My freaking favorite. It is the best. I've been using this for years. My mom actually put me onto this. Um, it's a sheer moisturizing experience. I mean, it's just a body oil. It smells good. Um, it smells. It smells good. It smells like sesame oil. <laughs> but you know, as far as like a base, when I get out of the shower, this is like what I put on first. Um, is a body oil, and I use this. And I've been using this for years. It's almost gone. It's almost time for me to re up. Um, don't really remember the price of this. It's a little pricey. It's probably around twelve or thirteen dollars um, at Target, but you can certainly find this, and it is great. Now, I pair my body oil with the lotion, and right now I've been using the Cantu body lotion. Um, this is skin skin therapy. My favorite favorite fragrance is the Shea Butter, enriched with the butters and vitamin E. The smell is great. I love it. I, I love these two paired together. They smell good together. Um, oh, I just love the Shea, the Shea um, fragrance. When I went back to Rhea, they didn't have the Shea fragrance. They only had the coconut one. And I just purchased the coconut one because I was just like the formula for the skin. But the fragrance that I like the most is the Shea. The other one smells kind of like cookies. If you like that, cool. But if you're not like a cookie kind of sweet, kind of candy smelling type, get this one. Now, I like this. They just came out with this. And let me tell you, I have really dry skin. That's why I double up with a body oil and lotion because my skin is just crazy dry. I can put lotion on and three hours later still be ashy. Not sure why, but my skin is like soil. You put something on it and it just immediately sucks it up. But with these two together, I have been able to get through the day longer <laughs> without becoming ashy again. Um, I think I just have dry skin. So, you know, unless I'm using Eucerin, I will just, or Vaseline, I will just still be dry. But this smells so good. I mean, it, it applies beautifully. It doesn't leave an oily residue. It does leave your I mean, your skin like a little sheen, a little oil on it, but I'm okay with that. Um, if you're okay with something like that, certainly get this. I know Cantu is good for hair products, but I love their freaking hair products. If you watch any of my hair tutorials or videos, you see that I use their products all the time. Their shampoo, their conditioner, their um, flat ironing spray, their deep conditioners, their um, just everything. I've used it all. So I wanted to give their lotions a try and this is a 10 out of 10 girls. Go check this out. Not even lying to you, you'll love it. Especially for my girls with really dry skin. You'll love it. Lastly, when I get out of the shower, I make sure I apply a foot cream. I am so big on not having ashy heels, ashy toes, 
Like, I like to rub my feet on people. I like people to rub my feet. Like, and I want it to feel soft. So if you don't have a foot cream, you should incorporate this in your shower time feminine hygiene routine. It is so very important. And I put a foot um, lotion on every single day, specifically for feet. This is the Dr. Till's Foot Care Therapy Foot Cream with Pure Epsom Salt. It moisturizes and softens with shea butter and aloe vera. This is almost gone as well. I've been using this for a very long time, and this is the go-to. Baby, I don't think I'm going to be using any other foot lotion. This has softened my feet for when I haven't put lotion or anything on my feet for a while. It's certainly softened it up. If you put it on there and you stay consistent with it, your feet will become soft again. So certainly incorporate a foot cream within your shower routine. This I got this on Amazon probably for eight or nine dollars. So certainly look online for that. Another product that I um, use for my feminine hygiene is a probiotic. If you're not also putting something in your body that is going to help you from the inside, I don't think you're doing your feminine hygiene any justice. Make sure you're incorporating a probiotic. And this is by Ollie. This is the Probiotic Immune and Digestive Help. Um, yeah. So my doctor suggested getting a probiotic. It helps keep the yeast down. Um, it helps keep the pH balance on point. If you're taking these on a consistent basis, along with the products that you use and what you're cleaning with, and how often you know you're showering, honestly, and the people that you're dealing with, if they're cleaning as well. So um, get you some gummies, any type of pill. Talk to your, your doctor about what is a great probiotic for you to use or take. Um, you can even start use, eating more yogurts. That is a natural probiotic that you can use to keep the yeast down in your Wuha area. Um, I recently just started doing probiotics um, because I don't really like yogurt. I'm not really a dairy person in general. I don't really like to eat a lot of dairy products. Um, so I don't necessarily get the nutrients that I need from the dairy, but I will certainly take a probiotic. I also take the multivitamins by um, Ollie as well, which is great. I've been taking them for about two years. Um, that'll be in another video, but get you some probiotics. This is to go inside your body. The other things are for the outside. So for you to smell good all around, use this as well. Not just the pineapple or pineapple juice or cranberry juice or whatever. Take a probiotic, okay? Because the cranberry juices aren't going to stop what probiotics are going to do for you, okay? Get you a probiotic. Last but not least, this has nothing to do with feminine hygiene, but I wanted to mention it in this video because it is a holy grail for me i freaking love it um and it is the mighty patch I'm not sure if many people have heard of it but i love the mighty patch if you have a pimple that came about during the day at nighttime put one of these patches on and literally within eight hours or nine hours it will be visibly gone or at least visibly smaller i use this whenever i feel like i have a pimple that just appeared and i'm getting ready to go on date night or make a video or brunch or anything and I don't want that big ugly mountain on my face to show I will put this on and some days when I'm just running errands or and not wearing any makeup I will put a patch on and leave it on all day and go to the store they're clear so people can't really see them like that unless they're like really staring at your face and if you don't care like me um, wear it because it's for it's for a reason you're obviously wearing it to help the blemishes on your face um, and they have other types too they have one for dark spots they have one for color corrector but this one I've um, used I've used the one for dark spots but not long enough to give you a review on it but I've been using this for about two years now and I freaking love it I re up on this every time it's a little pricey not exactly sure but it's over two dollars um, but certainly go in and get you a pack. Um, there is a smaller pack. This is a pack of 24 and you can get like a smaller one of like eight or six. That's what I started out with, which is travel size. And um, I fell in love with it. So I went and bought the larger pack. Um, so yeah, guys, that concludes all of the products that I use for my feminine hygiene. Again, it may not be a lot of products to you guys, especially in the shower. I don't use a lot of products down there on her because she is sensitive and she's supposed to smell natural okay 
Um, you can put the lotions and the smell goods on, you know, on the on the outside, on the thigh area, so that you know you're smelling good. If somebody goes down there, you know. But um, <laughs> yeah, so um, that concludes this video, guys. Please leave a comment down below if you felt like any of these items were helpful. If you have used some of these items before, if you didn't know about any of these items please leave a comment down below. Also leave this video a like if you felt like this video was helpful. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Become a diva. Join the team, okay? Because 2022, we're coming back. We're bouncing back, baby. And I miss you guys. And I hope you guys miss me. Um, so thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye.